Okay, in this video, I'm gonna build a cold frame box. To be exact, I'm gonna build this cold frame box. So I at least got the box put together today. I have the pieces for the lid, I have it all cut out, including the plexiglass. Um, all of this was materials that was already on the homestead. 
to include the one by twos um, that I have inside. Um, that's the only thing I changed on this other than the uh, thickness of the plywood. Um, the plans that were in the book that I'm using um, said that uh, you should use three quarter inch plywood. This is half inch. It's not that big of a deal. It's a little lighter. <laughs> All it is is a cold frame box. No big deal. It should work just fine. Um, once I get the uh, lid put together completely, um, I'll put the hinges on um, and it should be ready to go. That's just one more piece to the gardening area I'll have done. And I'm going to put handles on the side so we can carry it back and forth. Um, and a little handle on the lid to lift it. But uh, as you can tell, I don't have that put together. So anyhow, that's all I'm getting done today. It's time for dinner. And uh, I've been at it all day. Tried to take off. There's a film on both sides of this plexiglass that, they, that, that comes with it. I'll show you that real quick. Um, on this one, it's still got the film on it. Which makes it look real dirty and hazy. But it's not. Because as soon as you pull that film back, it's clear. Um, just like this is mostly clear now. But because um, it's been sitting for so long, it, it's hard to get that plastic... Uh, protective cover off of it um, this I found two sheets of this material uh, on the north end of the homestead um, underneath the deer stand that I have on the north north end uh, for whatever reason they left them out there I pulled them up here to clean them up and to use them so anyhow that's it for today um, for now so we will update uh, once this is completed and this project is actually going a lot quicker than the last couple of projects that I've been doing I got all this done in like one day so um, anyhow we'll uh, we'll update uh, the next time I turn the video uh, the camera on Okay, so a little grow box, um, I don't know, cold box, whatever you want to call it, for sprouting out um, that you typically would do before spring. I got that, I got it built now. I've still got to put handles. I've got it stained. Stain's about dry. I didn't stain the inside, but um, I think it'll be big enough. I can put a bunch of my seeds in here that I want to sprout out. Uh, most of our seeds that we've got are between two and eight weeks that you have to germinate them and let them sprout up. Then you can plant them. Um, what we're going to do, the middle beds are the old beds that we had before. I cleaned them all out. Um, I did that earlier in the video. And then we put more of the composted soil in there and I covered it to kill off anything that's, that's in the bottom. Um, any seeds that are still in there from the grass and whatnot. The far uh, beds, the new beds, we filled with the hay and the composted soil. I haven't covered it because I don't see a need to right now. And then these two smaller beds, we didn't have enough composted soil. I just put, I just put hay in it for now. Um, 
I don't have any more soil. I do have more hay, but we went and bought some soil today and we're gonna mix that up tomorrow and put it in here. Um, then what we may do is I may, um, I have a couple of tarps. I might bring them out and just tarp all of them for now and, and go from there. But uh, I don't know if you could see the area over here where the hay is stacked up. We're gonna also gonna have a little area for a ground garden. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna plant sweet corn, sunflower seeds, and a few other things in there to grow uh, in the soil on the ground. Um, I'm gonna drop a plan. Um, I'm, I've been told I'm the gardener this year, so I have to drop a plan and Typically I draw plans in my head, but I'll draw it out on paper this time. So anyhow, um, that's pretty much it. Um, we're gonna be planting our seeds probably tomorrow once we get done with, with the raised beds and putting our seeds out in this box. Um, this box is gonna serve as multiple purposes. Um, it will keep the plants warm that we put in there until they sprout out to where we need them. And it'll keep any animals and bugs from getting to them before they get to a point where they can uh, survive. So it's not the best build I've ever done, but for the first one, which I've had a lot of firsts, first bird house, first garden bed, first chicken house, first chicken coop, pig coop, and now um, sprout box or cold frame box, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. Bailey seems to like it too. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have one. All right, thank you.